come and take a seat by the fire. I know it's freezing outside, so you probably want to warm up as fast as possible. Oh, you poor thing. Look at you. You're practically shivering. Your parents couldn't have given you some warmer clothing? Here, let me get your collar off. I can't believe them. I know they sold you as a slave and all, but did they really have to put a collar on you? That's just absurd. Some parents, am I right? Hmm. This collar is harder to get off than I thought it'd be. This keyhole is so stubborn. Oh, you poor thing. You must be so uncomfortable wearing it. <laughs> Unless you like it. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Forgive me. I thought a little joke would ease the tension a bit. <laughs> there we go. See? It's off. Come on, you know I'd never want to do anything to make you uncomfortable. You've known me since forever, right? And I've always been so good to you. I had to save up enough. Just in case. <laughs> That's why I had to buy you as soon as I found out your parents were selling you. No, if I didn't, somebody else would have, and... I hate to think how they'd mistreat you. I don't know what I'd do if anyone else hurt you. <laughs> mm. But I'm still brainstorming. <laughs> and I have many, many very illegal ideas. <laughs> Free you? Well, I'd love to, but I really can't. If I free you, your parents will just try and claim you again. And then they'll just try and sell you again. And who knows if I'll be the first one to buy you. And even if I am, it'd just be an endless loop of freeing you and then buying you again and again and again. We should really just cut to the chase for the sake of your security. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a messed up society. I don't make the rules. I just try to work around them in the best way I can. To protect you. Besides, even if you were truly free, you don't really have much you can do with your freedom anymore, you know? Since your parents kind of did their best to ruin your life. But you don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of you. As your benevolent owner. I've never betrayed you before. I'm not going to start now. So. How do you feel with the collar off? Is your neck better? Oh. That's good, sweetheart. Can I call you sweetheart? <laughs> well, I know I can. Because technically, I own you now well not just technically i really do own you i've got a deed and everything but like i said i'm a benevolent owner <laughs> now can i call you sweetheart well then i don't mind if i do sweetheart how's the fire by the way did you want me to put a few more logs on it <laughs> master I never asked you to call me master um, but well I'm glad you did <laughs> I like the sound of it master and judging by the blushing I'm seeing I think you like it too <laughs> I'm glad you're adjusting to your new role so quickly you know 
since we both seem to like it so much when you call me master. I think you should do it again. <laughs> that wasn't in order. But maybe you'd prefer it if it was. Well then, how about this? I order you, call me master. <laughs> mm, I knew you'd be into it. You're my good little... Mm, what should I call you? Servant? Do you need the euphemism? Or can I just drop the pretense and call you by what you are? My slave. I mean, that's the reality. But I don't want to offend my precious little sweetheart. You're still irreplaceable to me. You're the most valuable thing in the entire world. I don't know how your parents practically just gave a treasure like you away. They sold you so cheaply. Too. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard the news. All my life, I've just wanted you. All my life, I've yearned so intensely for you. And it hurt me so deeply. And not just the having you part. But also when others looked at you and talked with you. And laughed like they were going to take you away from me. But today, once I purchased you, all the pain went away. It's ironic. You might be my slave now. But this has been really liberating for me. I don't have to worry about anything now. Other than taking care of you, of course. I could never confess my feelings before. But now they're overflowing. I guess it helps to own you. But don't worry. I won't abuse my position. I'll make you happy. I just want you to love me after all. And that's not something I can take by force. It's something I have to foster by treating you right. Hey. Your love life isn't too great, right? Should I fix that? Well, there's a lot of things I could mean. <laughs> that all just depends on what you're ready for. If you're shy or unwilling to go further, which I respect, by the way, then maybe it could just mean holding hands with a little bit of hugging. We could just have our own little day by the fire, thinking innocent, wholesome day little things. Thinking innocent, wholesome little things. If you're a little less shy or a little bit more eager, which there's nothing wrong with, by the way, then we don't have to just stop right there. For instance, you could come to bed with me and I could make sure you stay warm tonight. <laughs> mm, I met with the fire and getting you warmer clothes. Just where did your mind go? <laughs> oh, are you just adorable? I've never seen anything cuter. I'd write my name on you, but I don't want to ruin perfection. Maybe I'll write it on your collar instead. Little note saying who your owner is. Me. <laughs> I'll have to get you a more comfortable collar first, though. But you never answered my question. Should I put a little more love in your love life? What would you like? Wholesome? <laughs> Got it. One order of wholesome coming right up. Well, what are you waiting for, cutie? Why are you staring at my hand for? My eyes are up here. You said you wanted wholesome hand holding, right? Aren't you going to hold my hand? Oh, 
too shy. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you for speaking your mind. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take it from here. Since you want it too, I order you to hold my hand. There we go. Thank you so much for being so, so, so obedient. I'm very proud of you, darling. <laughs> you are such a fast learner. It makes me think of what I should teach you. You won't be leaving me now that you're mine. I might as well as take the opportunity to teach you a few things. Well, for starters, I think I'll teach you that you are very, very, very cute. <laughs> you are. You're the cutest cutie I've ever seen. Although, I don't really look at much other than you. Especially when you're sleeping. <laughs> but still, I know my stuff. And I know that you are particularly cute. The cutest. <laughs> are you calling me a liar? Your one and only master? Well then, admit it. I order you to call yourself cute. <laughs> mm, see, you are a fast learner, and I think that rewards a reward. So, what would you like, cutie? So let me know how you want me to spoil you. But try to keep it appropriate. <laughs> Although, I can forgive you if you don't. And what are you talking about? That's not really a request. I already told you, you are mine. So I'm keeping you. You can't really ask for me to keep you since I'm already going to keep you no matter what. Nothing is going to take you away from me. I'd sooner burn the world than let it take you away from me. But I can see you might be a bit unsure, sweetheart. So, uh, let me put your mind at ease. You're mine. I've gone addicted to you, and I'll die from withdrawal if I'm without you. So you will always be mine. Now and forever. Your mind. I'll say it as many times as you need to hear. Your mind. Your mind. As many times as it takes to get it into that little cute skull of yours. That's your mind. And do you know why? Because you're my sweetheart. Now, is there anything else my good little property wants as a reward? I thought that was already implied. <laughs> but you know what? No, you're right. It's good to say it out loud. Well then, let me say it explicitly. I'm your boyfriend now. And also your master, but also your boyfriend. I guess that makes us a date. I think I said it before. Holding hands by the fire? <laughs> it counts. It doesn't have to be a date, but I'd like it to be one. And since you're blushing up a storm, I'm pretty sure you feel the same. Don't you? That's what I thought, precious. I can read you like a cute open book. I love you. Do you understand that? Do you understand that your master loves you? Repeat after me. Master loves me. 
there we go. <laughs> That's my good little slave. What am I to do with a slave as good as you? Well, <laughs> I'm sure you have a few fantasies. But you really are so good for me. I appreciate it. But you know, I still haven't given you your reward. You just ask for things that were already a given. You don't have to hold back, you know? What's on your mind? What do you want me to give you? Well, I'd do anything for you. And you know, I really mean anything. So if you want revenge on your parents, just let me know. It'll be fine. I'll make it look like an accident, baby. I promise. You won't have to worry about a thing. You just have to say the word and I'll dispense justice in your place. Are you sure? Okay. Okay, I get it. I understand. But let me know if you change your mind, okay? So then, about your reward... <laughs> mm, got it. One cuddling to sleep by the fireplace coming right up. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. I've got the bedroll right here. Come on, you should get some rest. You've had a long night. Sweet dreams, darling. I love you. <laughs> mm.